Today at one, we're live in Jerusalem as the Israel-Gaza war shows no sign of easing. United Nations aid agencies in Gaza say they are becoming overwhelmed by the number of people seeking refuge from this crisis. After another aid convoy goes in, one UN agency says it will have to halt its operations this evening unless more fuel is allowed into the territory. If it does not come today, then we are going to be put in a very difficult situation where we're going to have to make the decision over a reduction of a humanitarian operation. All this as airstrikes continue to attack what the Israeli military describes as Hamas targets, including tunnels, underground and ammunition depots. Also in the programme, an ex-assistant of the former Conservative Minister, Peter Bone, tells the BBC abuse by the MP left him broken. A police officer who threatened and blackmailed underage girls on Snapchat is jailed for life. And he's back. Global megastar Arnold Schwarzenegger has returned to the UK and spoke to us about motivation, movies and making mistakes. Arnold Schwarzenegger, thank you very much. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up on BBC News, Wales fullback Lee Halfpenny retires from international rugby after winning over 100 caps. He said it was a huge honour and privilege to represent his country.